Alright guys, welcome back to another video of FTB Revelations from the Craftonomical SMP server. How are you guys doing today? I am doing fine myself. I've been doing a little bit of work off camera guys, you know, building up in here. I like it. I don't know how I like the roof, but I like everything else. I've been getting all these working. We have, I don't know if I showed you guys these two ME controllers up top. But yeah, we got those. Uh, I got these cable facades now, so they look like Dark Prismarine. And then I also got these ME drives over here, and then we got a little bit more ME drives. These are still all just the one case, uh, but now we got lots of storage. Um, over here I moved my Tinker Smeltery into here, and then over here, guys, is our power gen for the whole base right now. Um, each one of these has a time of four. Let me just double check. Let me take you around back. Uh, nothing's really changed a whole lot back here except for this. We've got these Signalum plated flux, uh, fluid ducts, but if we check here, fluid duct fluid is it like that yeah if we look at this um it transfers fluids and rf so we're able to transfer power and lava so what i've got here is our pump is going into here you know pumping out into all of these and then we have an advanced power cell now these are basically like the old gen um tesseracts basically you have a link here um and then it fills up with power uh, and it's pretty cool uh we're We've got this over here. This is our power for over here. Um, I also made an advanced inscriber. So basically you just throw silicone redstone in like that and it, it allows you to basically stack these. So it's not just one at a time. Um, so this is, uh, these are pretty cool. Um, I haven't been doing a whole lot else. Uh, let's see here, is there anything else to update you guys on? Um, I don't believe so. I've just been doing a lot of build and testing out what I like. Um, I do think I want to change the roof. I don't know if I want to keep it to the um, prismarine. Wait, what is that? Are these prismarine bricks? Oh, that's just prismarine. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so, but today, guys, we are going to go to our mining dimension. Um, I thought about doing the deep dark... Um, but I realized that the mining dimension, uh, eventually we can put solar panels in here, and this can run off of it. Um, and I actually, oh geez. Wait, why are these all zero? Oh, I guess solar panels probably won't work then, will they? Actually, let's go back here. Um, now it was recommended by AZ Badfish in our old, uh, on Prime Fools. Um, if you guys remember, um, I don't know if you guys saw his comment, but he recommended that we use a, like a smaller flux duct, think of that, that doesn't transfer as much RF, so that way we can limit how much RF is being outposted from our system. Um, but I think the lowest one is a thousand RF per tick, so that's still too high. What about wire? Would that work? Oh, we could use these. That's a relay. We need a connector. Okay. Okay! <laughs> Let's see. Um, yeah, that should be enough. Yeah, okay, we got it. Oh, it comes with four. Okay, so let's see if let's see if this works. I don't know how much uh, power this is going to transmit, but basically, I don't want this to take up all of our system. Because that would suck. Um, if this was taking all of our power gen, because we got to have some for our... Just to build our old system, pretty pretty basic. Um, hello, Mr. Guy. And we don't need cobble, dirt, gravel, netherrack, or stone. Now we're going to do, do 500 blocks by, we'll do the 256 is the max. So we'll just do 100 down and then we'll do another 500. Okay, yeah. Offset. Let's go down fifty. Or let's see. All right, guys. So it turned out when I hit the negative fifty offset, it uh, stopped the recording. Um, but anyway, this thing isn't pulling out resources, and I don't know why. All right, so I've set it to negative fifty. We're gonna see if this does anything. Again, we can't even see it. All right, so we're just going to set it to negative 15 this time. We're going to see if this works. So I think it's starting maybe over here. Um, let's see, what level does it go down to? Wait a sec. I've got an idea. We're going to go straight down to bedrock. Okay, we're at bedrock. 
Dang, Draconium right off the bat. Nice, okay. So, Builder here. Now we don't have to worry about the freaking offset. Okay, that's the power cell. Okay. Zero offset. Put that in here. We're going to punch this out just a little bit. Because in the future... Let's go. Okay. Working. Perfect. So get rid of the power. We're going to go like this. Um, like so. And then we're going to chunk load the area. Yep, still chunk loaded. And this is how fast our thing is going. Okay, so let's start the... We don't need that much cobble in our system. So... Let's avoid these two. Throw this back in and start it. How is that adding power? Oh, because it's, it's going through the stuff that's already done. Okay. All right. That seems pretty fair. But look, if we're going down to Y level... Yeah, we're starting to mine now. That's why the power went down. Okay. Now we can always come back and upgrade the power. We're, we're probably going to have to eventually. Because uh, I don't think that's enough power to get like consistently good stuff. So we can actually add an elevator block up to the top and bottom. So we can get down here pretty quick. Which is, which is cool. So let's go ahead. Head on back to the main world. And we're going to check the... They might rubber band me. Yep, there it is. Okay. Now we should... Oh my gosh. We got 11,000 cobblestone that quickly. Look, we already got 190 iron. Jeez Louise. This thing is fast. All right. I think we want to upgrade to a high voltage. Now this is aluminum. Do we have aluminum? We do have aluminum. So aluminum wire. Oh, we need to make the plate. We need to make the plate. Let's see, aluminum wire. Like uh, that. All right? No, what the, dang it. The plate game. <laughs> we need to make that. Okay. What happened to my hammer? Oh, I broke the hammer. Oh, nose. We broke it, did, did, did the hammer. Okay, we've already got 51 of these guys. All right. Um, let's go like that. Oh, no, 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 no. I got to do it like this. Okay, hammer. Perfect. They called me Thor. And then where's our aluminum at? There's our aluminum. Okay, now we need our shears. Oop, one E. Okay, and then like so. And what else do we need? Steel. I have steel. And then we need our shears again. Shears, there they are. Boom, and then. High voltage wire. Sweet. Okay, so let's go. Let's go swap these out and see how much better the farm runs. Because I, I want to limit how much it can actually pull out of our system. Because as you can tell, it will pull and pull and pull and pull until all of our power is gone. So that's running it considerably faster. And we're actually going down in power. Huh. Wonder where the bottleneck is for I wonder if the lava generators just can't keep up we're gonna get some flux ducts and we are going to make a safety here so it doesn't seem the is the problem the lava coming in no it's fine the problem is the power so we're gonna make a safety for our system here 
Just like this. Uh, we shouldn't need more than... Actually, we should be fine like that. Then we're going to make a tank. This way, if we're eating up all the power, it won't bring our system down. Uh, we're going to need a, some speed upgrades. I made a, I made a few. So, basically, this is a, a buffer for our system. Just in case... This can't handle the truth. <laughs> Did you see what I did there? That was funny. Ah, oh, that's good. Anyway, let's have a look and see what materials, how much materials we're getting. Look at the ores. Ready? Hold up. Missed. Ore. Oh my gosh, look at that. Would you just look at it? <laughs> Dude, this is sweet. We don't have an iron problem anymore. We're going to need to automate this. But we are going to do that today. On this episode of Craftonomical, we're going to take care of our issue with uh, this thing. <laughs> um, okay. See, that goes there. This will go here. I was, I was going to put the, um, the, what's it called? Um, the smeltery there. Decided to take another path. Um, we're going to do it like that, yeah. Like so, like so, and then we'll get a pipe. We're going to set two of these up. So the furnace is down below. This is up high, and then we'll do the same thing right here. And we'll basically split up the processes for these guys. Um, we're gonna get. We have to make. We're gonna get the anchors. We gotta get the anchors. So we're going to be accepting from this side, um, and then red this way. Oh, sorry. There we go. That's how we're going to do it. So out here, for both of them up top, we're going to export. Oh, hmm. We're going to have to make the ME interface like this. Do that. Because this should be getting items from the top. Oh, why are we looking that way? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, where did our export bus go? I just had it. Grab this guy. And me import bus. Export bus. Okay, we made that. Now we're going to need to run a cable all the way to it. Okay, we'll disconnect from these for now. So that way, these should be online. But they're not. What the heck? <laughs> Going in. Oh, they're not even connected right here. Yep, okay, they're both connected. Perfect. Now, from the back here, we're going to do this on the other side too. This is where we're going to get our power from. Very, very simple. Boom. And then we can just... We're actually probably going to run these downward like this and over. Oops, not supposed to be there. Like so, and then up to that. Okay, so the export bus, we got to add a capacity card, and then three speed ones, and actually we'll do two speeds. That way it's even for now. And we only need one here. Okay. So let's grab the ores that we want to start processing. So these are our five for now. So we'll put iron in, that guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Look, these are, it's uh, automatic. And then we're gonna have to get another import bus. Ooh, sorry about that. My Discord went off on my phone. And we are running out of time for this episode. Jeez Louise. Okay, do we have another pulverizer? No, we're gonna make another pulverizer. Right now, we're going to have to be quick about it. 
How much do we need? We need a lot. Nope, wrong. Jeez, I can't even place it right. So we gotta think this through. So yellow goes this way, um, blue comes in here, and then red goes out the bottom. So import bus, import bus, this guy. Okay, yep, those are connected now. And then we're receiving from the top and exporting out the side. So we need... So the export bus can go here. Import bus. Boom, those are connected. Okay. So actually, these should be working. So let's see here. Capacity card. X two acceleration cards. All right. That is all done. That should be... Oh, nope. Those aren't getting power. Let's grab some flux ducts real quick. I'm trying to be fast, guys. I'm sorry. Flux... There they are. Where they go? There they are. Oop, we have to go around. It's getting too tight. Perfect. Hold on. So these are the base five for over here we're going to do. All right, that's going to be slow. <laughs> uh, okay. So then we can add, actually, we can add four more onto each of those. So let's make, let's make two more capacity cards. Perfect. We ran out. So we can make one more for that guy. One more for this guy. Okay. I think that's actually all the ores we have. Boom. All right. I think that's it for today, guys. Um, let's do our finishing touches. Grab the anchors. And then we'll grab the prismarine bricks. Make three of these. Okay, so let's go place these on. I think, I think we'll be all right afterwards. Look at that. You don't even know it's there. That's pretty cool looking. But, all right, guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please make sure to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. But, guys, this has been Super Turtle, and I'm out. Peace off. Bye-bye.